Hi there, I'm Wally Wilson with Remax Syntax, and I just wanted to uh, go through a little scenario today that I found to be a real important aspect of the real estate business. Daryl's going to help me, he's on the camera. Lauren's down here, she's going to help us on, uh, on what we do with Google and our website. So we're going to have fun at this just like we always do. So it, the most important thing I found in, in the real estate business has always got to do with supply and demand. So if you've been reading some in the newspapers, here's the Community Impact, which is a local newspaper article by the Austin Business Journal people. You can see here the low inventory buoys housing prices as experts see uptick in demand. That's from February 29th. We see a lot of those kind of articles. I want you to understand a lot of times Austin American Statesman and other papers, they write about what's happening in the central Austin market. And that's great and very true in central Austin, but I gotta tell you, it's not true at all for our Georgetown Williamson County market. And I'm gonna show you some things here that really wanna change your ideas. Or Lauren, let's go to the significance of months of inventory. All right, what I wanna talk about right now is what I call Economics 101, Real Estate Economics 101, which is supply and demand. The more supply we have, less demand prices fall. Now that's where we've been the last five years. But now, 2013, we've got a different market. What does that tell us? Well, we have less supply, lots of demand, prices go up. But I want you to understand, that's not always true in every market. In Georgetown, Williamson County is a little different. What you want to see here is significance of months of inventory, and that's what I look at. You can see here, it's a seller's market, and that's anywhere from zero to about four months worth of supply. Kind of in a balanced market, we've got four and a half to six and a half months of inventory. In a buyer's market, where buyers get everything they want, including a better price, generally starts at about eight months and goes up to 12, 15. Some of our market, we've seen 36 and 48 months worth of inventory. But let's get a little more specific. Let's take a look at Georgetown. Warren, if you'll move to... This is data that I pulled today, provided to us by Alamo Title and Austin Title, and it talks about Georgetown West, GTW. Now, what I'm doing is localizing our marketplace, and you can see here in Georgetown West, if you've got a property under 100000 well, there aren't any. And here we are from 100 to 150 is 1 1.4 months worth of inventory. I'm telling you, you're going to sell it. You're going to make good money. But take a look here at our 400, 500, and 750 and above, even to million dollars, starting with 400 to 500, nine months worth of inventory, 12 months worth of inventory, 18 months worth of inventory. What does that tell us? Well, what it tells me is that even though parts of Central Austin are in a different market, Georgetown, well, we don't have that quite that energy we have here. We've got a good market, trust me, because 400 and above, we were running about 36 months worth of inventory. So it's a good time this spring and this summer. Give us a call. I'll show you specifically how this impacts you and your home and your own subdivision. Wally Wilson, it's an enjoyable time. Look forward to visiting with you and talking to you and selling your home.